power of ice. I'm really excited to get to disc two though, because that's like uh that's like one of the last things in disc one. We have one more area, which I always think is in disc two, but it's not. I always think it's a disc two area, but it's actually a disc one area. So we have one more area to do after the stuff with Gabwin, and then we'll be in disc two. And I really can't wait for that because disc two has some of my favorite moments as well. I mean, it's like the rest of the game. It's like the second half. But I'm really excited to get to there. Got some great moments in there as well. And also the optional dungeons are there. So we'll see how those are in Redux. Hopefully they're not like a pain. I think it'll work out fine though. I'm like excited, but also dreading the <laughs> Tower of Temptation mostly. I think Soldier's Graveyard and Dream of Castles will work fine because you could do them a little bit later and you could do them whenever. You have a really small window to do Temptation Tower, so that one is going to be a little rough. It's also like the strongest dungeon in the game. It's got the strongest boss, even stronger than like the final boss in base Grandia. But I wonder in Redux, maybe they, maybe the final boss is stronger or something. I guess we'll see. I don't know. Because I know in base Grandia, if you do Tower of Temptation, it's like you steamrolled everything. But I wonder if they took it in the mind and been like, oh yeah, let's make the final boss stronger, which would in turn force you to do the optional dungeon. But like, who's playing, who's playing the Redux patch and not doing the optional dungeons? Because chances are, you're, you have, you would have played Grandia if you're playing the Redux patch. No one is like, I doubt anyone would ever play the Redux Pass as an entry point. I don't recommend it. So, I mean, I, I, I could see them doing that. I could see the creator being like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to make the optional dungeons, like, lower level than the rest of the game. I could see them being like, hey, they're basically required. Because this is, like, this is essentially, like, Grandia Hardest difficulty. It is Grandia's Hardest difficulty. So I can see the devs doing that. All right, we won. Like I said, you should play Grandia 1 vanilla, whether it's PS1, whether it's Saturn, if you have a fan patch, or it's HD Remaster. And then you can play Redux as a second playthrough. Redux makes a perfect, like, new way to play Grandia. It's not, it's not an entry point. I don't think it is. I don't think it should be an entry point. I mean, technically nothing's stopping you, but I really don't recommend it. What if I go this way? You know what? We've done this dungeon before. I don't mind fast-forwarding a bit. I could run. I think I'll be able to run. I think that's what I do in- well, no, the base game's easy, so I just, like, kill them really fast. I don't think an ambush is gonna be a problem. I doubt it. I'm playing an emulator, I should have used it for stuff like this with backtracking. This is such a small nitpick that it doesn't affect, it doesn't change how I feel about the game. I do wish they brought you like straight to Gabwin's house. I think it would have been better to be like, oh yeah, you know, you got stuff going on with Gabwin, like they just take you straight to the house. It would have been so much better. We're almost there, though. We're in trouble. Retreat. Even in vanilla Grandia, because you steamroll everything, but even then, it's like, why do you have to like go through this area again? Basically, half of it, not all of it. But having to go through half of it kind of blows. To be honest. Hi. 
Or don't die, just let me leave. <laughs> hey Gavin, how's it going? Uh, let me just check something really quick before I think about doing this. Oh, I need to heal my poison. That would have been bad if I fought Gabu with the poison. Uh, I think I'm also gonna give you the axe for this. I'm glad you came, Justin. Okay, we're all set. Onward toward the Sea of Mermaids. Justin, you've grown a lot as a result of your work in overcoming obstacles. Now you've succeeded at the toughest challenge, which is to leave your friends behind. This is also a really great scene, too. It's not as good as Sue's goodbye, but I mean, like, it's still a great scene for Justin here. So now you're a full-fledged grown-up man. Uh, just a minute, Gabwin. Now as a man, you must ready yourself in body and mind for your sea voyage. I will do this with joy. With joy? What? You said there's a way to cross the Sea of Mermaids. If you could beat me in a duel, crossing the Sea of Mermaids should be easy. What? Beat you in a duel? But why do we have to duel? We almost beat him last time, Justin. I could have won if I reset my game. Right, Gabwin. Come to your senses. As you can see, I have all my senses. Do not interfere, Fina. This duel is a sacred man-to-man -man ritual. So let's go, Justin. Yo, we get the run back with Gadwin. This is also a really great moment. In Base Grandia, as most things are, you're a pushover. So I would imagine this is harder, but still not all that difficult. First we defense loss. Feel the Earth's fury! You have 2100, I hope your damage isn't super high. Okay, 46 is a lot. Oh my word, that's a lot of damage. This might actually be a problem. I'm at 69 HP, by the way. That is very scary. Prime V-Slash. V-Slash! 400. You're gonna kill me. There's like no way. Hmm. Flying Dragon Slash. Oh, close enough. You almost killed me. Hit me up with this. Doing 240s is a little stupid. Oh. oh, I'm not supposed to win that? Or maybe I can, but they make it ridiculous? I don't like that. I do not like that. I know your strength is better than that. Show me your real- Oh no, he's just- de There's just no game over. Alright, never mind. I'm supposed to win. That fight seems a little- Buffed. I guess I need to use digging. Luckily, there's this thing here, though. All right, never mind. You just can't game over against Gabwin. <laughs> I literally thought they changed the fight from um, unwinnable or winnable to an unwinnable fight, but that wouldn't really make sense, would it, with the plot? All right, so I guess we really... I don't know how we're going to win this. I guess I got to just use a lot of digging. Now you can show me your true strength, Justin. They have a little game over scene for Gabwin, which is nice. Instead of game overing, it's like, hey, you lost to me, but you have to win. All right. I think what we do, we could see how... I should dig in, because he does a lot of damage. I want to see how much this nullifies it by. He does like 80 damage with a single attack. Yeah, he's still doing like 41. Digging is like not even worth it. Cancel. We have to rely on canceling, I guess, for this fight. Is that a guard? No, it wasn't a guard. I didn't think so. Alright, this fight is actually not a joke. Like it is in Vanilla Grandia. This is like winnable. It's just gonna take a minute. We're gonna fly cut. Oh no, eruption cut. Here you go. Ha! 
Gavin, stop being annoying. I don't think I'll make a V-Slash. Maybe I will, actually. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. I should have just guarded. Uh, go for healer here. We're not really gonna use level 2 magic in this. They're there! I understand they wanted to make this harder because, like, this is a big moment for Justin versus Gabwin, but... Oh, there's Dragon Cut. Come, power of the universe. I understand they wanted to make this harder, Dragon but... In theory, it's a good idea. In practice, not really. Because it's a 1v1. And they might have went a little overboard, even though I, I get why they wanted to make it harder. But I feel like they went a little too far. Although it's not undoable, we just gotta do like heal attack, heal attack. They could have at least like lowered his HP. Like 2000 HP is a lot for the pattern of this fight. Because basically it's like attack, heal, attack, heal. Because digging does not give you enough defense that it's worth using. Okay, now I'm actually good to... Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now I V-slash again. I'm just spamming V-slash. V-slash! No cancel. Alright, we're, we're gonna win. We're fine. It could have toned down his HP a little bit. Who had like, I don't know, like 1500, there, maybe there. 1600 would have been fine. Because the strat is basically like attack, heal, attack, heal. There's flying dragon cut. Hmm. This is like 70, I think. Flying dragon slap. No, only 50. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. You're gonna defend now. Okay, this is fine now. So now I midair cut. Oh, I got the defend. Dang it. I should have V slash. I should have known midair cut wouldn't make it. Yeah, only 170. Stand by. I'm a little worried. If he dragon cuts, I don't think I die. I think I still don't die. Oh, the combo gem for Justin would have been good. Okay, he's attacking. We're fine. So now I heal, and then I go for, like, a V-Slash to probably win. Alright, this fight isn't bad. I do think Gabwin could have used, like, a little bit less HP. <laughs> he missed that time. Alright, Gabwin. You know what? Let's try one of these moves. Ice Slash. Yes, yes, Gabum, we get it. And the V slash. Oh, I can't V slash anymore. I can normal attack, though. I don't think it's gonna kill, though. Actually, will normal attack kill? It should kill. Two 160s? Yeah, we're fine. Oh, no, one oh, no, it didn't kill. Don't kill me here. Oh, dang it. I should have healed. I thought attacking would kill him. Ugh. I really thought attacking would kill him. It was so close. Yes, 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 yes. I got it. I got it. I should have healed. They're cut first, actually. Because I know Gabwin doesn't really kill me with anything. I'm gonna heal just to be safe. Even though I probably could have gotten away with V-Slash. This fight is, like, fine, but it's just a little, like, I think less HP would have been, like, good. Don't make it, don't make it. Okay, good. Give me a V-slash. I wish I got the cancel. Oh, I did get the cancel. He didn't use Dragon Cut. This shouldn't kill me, right? There's, like, 70. Yeah, 76. Now heal... All right, he's defending now. Oh right, yeah, now we win. 
Oh, especially if he's gonna defend. Small error on my part, but I mean, like, I think Gabwin could have benefited with just a little bit less HP. Although, All right. yeah, it kind of worked out, I guess. I guess it kind of worked out. Only Justin getting experience, which is unfortunate for Fina, but fine. Hmm, that was good. Very good, Justin. You've grown more than I thought, both as a warrior and as a man. I shall now teach you my Dragon Cup move. Also, there's a gameplay reason. There's a gameplay implementation to this whole, like, Justin besting Gabwin, which is even cooler. You actually get the Dragon Cut move. Sword power, or power, fire power. When you master all of these, you can use Dragon Cut. This move is an old family tradition. Only fully grown men can use it. I think you're ready to learn it. And one other thing, I left my boat at the Dock and Dight so you can cross the Sea of Mermaids. You may use it as you wish. The Dock and Dight? Great, we can cross the sea. Please, come with us, Gabwin. You say we should use it as we wish, but it's your boat, isn't it, Gabwin? Really now, Gabwin? There's no need for me to go along with you. I thought I told you, Fina. Justin's a full-grown man now. Huh? But, but then... Seeing how you're growing day by day, I have come to this realization. I must go on a tr new training journey. I'm always aiming higher and higher to continue my growth as a man. Wow, Gabwin. Grown men shouldn't make such faces. We may meet again if our paths should cross once more. When we do, we can cross swords again and praise each other's progress. Be diligent in improving yourself. I'm looking forward to next time. Farewell, Justin. I like Gabwin. Gabwin's really cool. Gabwin, he's been watching over you during this trip, Justin. I'll do my best, Gabwin. I'm gonna get bigger and stronger. I'll make you proud of me. Thanks, Gabwin. Gabwin is a really nice character for building up Justin. I love the characters in this game. They're great. I really like that moment. Also, getting the Dragon Cut move just is the icing on the cake. Actually getting to use Gabwin's Dragon Cut. As well as, like, Justin's whole, like, man, like, progress to becoming a man. It's really nice. And I think... Okay, no, we need to get, um... No, we should have it. I don't know why it... we should have a Dragon Cut. I guess the game doesn't give it to you immediately. It should be the one with Fire and Earth at 6 and 7. And our sword is 16, so I mean, we should have it. I wonder if Justin's just gonna learn it during battle? Because I should have the requisites for it already. I gotta go all the way back. Are you kidding me? Not two. We need three. I also wish they would, like, fast travel you out of here, at the very least. I don't know what's up with this dragon card. Like, do I need to do something to get it? Because I have the requisites already. I'm gonna just try to use, like, Burn Flame or something. Burn out. Okay, no, it's not coming up. Because I should have it already. You would think. Okay. A wind blow away. So that reminds me, do I even have a sword for Justin? I don't think I do. Yeah, it's not here. Just die. I'll figure it out later. I need to get a sword for Justin. I can't even use it without a sword.